Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kerry Sullivan. I know you haven't heard from me in a while because I've been involved in some other triathlon related projects, but I'm coming back to say I'm back and I'm going to be answering your questions once a week via video. So any questions that you have, you can put them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to get back to all those questions. I might not always make video returns or replies to them, but I'll definitely answer them in the, the box below. And I actually got one question from a guy named Chris recently and he wants to know how can you tell if he is overtrained or not? And I think that's a really good question for triathletes because as triathletes, we love to train. You don't get into the sport of triathlon unless you're really into training most of the time. And we can get excited and go out there and train and train and train and we can end up getting overtrained, which is just as bad as being undertrained. In fact, I like when people are a little bit undertrained because you can you can fix that pretty quick, but overtraining it can be a slippery slope. So the number one thing you wanna look at to see if you're overtrained is if you're starting to have performance declines. And I'm not talking about a decline over two or three days because what happens is we put our body under certain stressors in order to make our performance go up. So one example might be interval training. And if you're doing some pretty intense interval training, you might see some performance decline as your body starts to compensate and heal itself from those uh, stressors that you're putting under it and uh, onto it and what happens is your performance will decline a little as your body starts to heal itself up and is spending more energy kind of focusing on healing all your muscles and there's all kinds of hormone things that are happening as well as neurological things as as well and it's very complex if you really want to get into it but basically two or three decline that's not a big deal uh, but when you start getting into uh, three four five days of steady decline um, in your performance, that's definitely when you're probably starting to see some overtraining occurring. Uh, other things you want to look at is your sleep quality. Uh, if you're not sleeping as well, that can be an indicator. Your mood, um, loss of appetite, uh, weight loss, uh, resting heart rate. If your resting heart rate is uh, above 15, 20 beats. Uh, than, than what it normally should be. Even 10 beats um, sometimes can be two of your resting heart rate first thing in the morning. As long as you're consistent with when you're actually testing your resting heart rate to see that um, that measure and, it, and you can definitely start to see some um, inc uh, incline as it's going up, that can be an indicator as well. Uh, there's a lot of other things out there. There's um, some software out there that I started using this year called RestWise, and it kind of actually goes through some of those questions I was, uh, or some of those questions I was just kind of talking about. Um, you know, is your what is your resting heart rate, sleep quality, how much sleep you're getting, and from these different um, questions it asks you, and your in the information you put in there it actually gives you a uh, a score based on zero to 100, 100 being your, you're totally fully recovered, you're good to go, zero being, <laughs> you're basically dead. I don't know what it'd take to be a zero, but yeah, you'd be in a, in a bad state. But it's been useful uh, for me to use that because it kind of gets me a little bit more used to checking in with my body and being aware of what's going on. Uh, so that can definitely be useful as well. Um, and you know, I think more than anything, it's just knowing yourself because even with some of the parameters that they're going there, uh, that might not be applicable to you. You know, you can kind of tell. But uh, you know, it's just self awareness. And the number one thing I would say is is training performance. You know, is it declining? And even even you know, if you're not declining as much as five percent, but you're seeing a big plateau and you're just feeling more tired than normal, that can be a sign for sure too. So just be aware of those things. If you got any other questions on overtraining or your specific situation, leave them in the box below. Maybe I'll uh, answer it via video or I'll definitely type in an answer if I can't get to it, to it by video. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.